What's up, everybody, and welcome to the channel. I'm Salty Sleggy. Thanks for tuning in today. Today's game is Sonic Frontiers. We're going to touch on it briefly. There's not much known about Sonic Frontiers. Now, on a personal level, I've not played Sonic since Sonic 1 and Sonic 2 on Mega Drive. That was eons ago. Like, I have watched some of the series when I was a kid and stuff, but I've never really got into Sonic games. I kind of grew out of it and just moved on to other experiences. I'm still a Sonic fan at heart. Obviously, I enjoyed the movie and I look forward to the second one, but I've never really indulged into the gaming space of Sonic or even Mario. So Sonic Frontiers is an upcoming platform game developed by the Sonic team and published by Sega. Sega, do you remember that? God, I'm old. Sonic Frontiers is scheduled to release on Nintendo Switch, PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, PC, Xbox One, Xbox Series X and S sometime in late of 2022. It will be the first Sonic the Hedgehog game to feature an open world as Sonic. And firstly, it's been confirmed that Dr. Eggman, Tails and Amy Rose will appear in Sonic Frontiers. There's no confirmation on Shadow, there's no confirmation on Knuckles or other various characters, but they believe that some various characters will make an appearance at some point in order to help with the plot. The player explores the Starfall Islands, which comprise of various biomes, including flowery fields, forests, ancient ruins, and deserts. Multiple critics compared the open world design to Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. That's another game that I've not played. I know that's a big one. I know that's a big one. Following the release of Sonic Forces of 2017, Sonic Team began exploring multiple approaches for its next Sonic the Hedgehog game. In addition to celebrating the series' upcoming 30th anniversary, Sonic Team also sought to define what a modern Sonic game should be and solidify the series' direction for the next decade. Sonic Team head and Sonic series producer Takashi Lezuka wanted the next Sonic game to inform future games similar to how Sonic Adventures of 1998 set a template that following games continue to emulate for 20 years. As such, Sonic Team began developing Frontiers from scratch. The team focused on transitioning Sonic speeds and abilities to the open world while remaining true to previous games. Development was underway by March 19th and the month Sega opened a fan survey to help determine the series' next steps. Mario Kishimoto, director of Sonic Colors of 2010, Lost World of 2013, and Forces returns to direct Frontiers, while Generations 2011 and Forces art director Sakiko Kawamura is producing Ian Flynn, who wrote Sonic the Hedgehog comics published by Archie Comics and IDW Publishing and episodes of the Sonic Boom TV series, is writing the script. And series composer Yoon Senue is contributing to the score. Sonic Team began regularly holding external playtesting during Frontiers development. And that's it guys, that's all I know about Sonic Frontiers. Frontiers. It's coming at some point at the end of this year. I'm actually interested to actually play an open world Sonic game. So uh, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Always love to hear from you. That'll be it for the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please consider dropping a like on it. It helps out me and helps out the channel and I wouldn't ask you otherwise. Subscribe for more upcoming games as well as more Sonic news if we get some more gameplay. I'd love to show you some gameplay. We just got this trailer on a loop. I know it's kind of boring, but it's all the footage that is available at the moment. You'll find social links down below if you want to support in that space. Hit that notification bell and as as always, have a wonderful day and I'll see you next time.